This is the Pixel Clock Mark 1. And this is some funny animation running on the Pixel Clock. And this is the code to program such an animation. And now if you don't know what the Pixel Clock is, it is a nice colorful frame that can display any kind of pixel art, including the things that you programmed yourself. Yeah, and it's a fun thing to do. It's joy to imagine, to implement and to see your own things moving. And now I ask you, do you want to have one copy of that Pixel Clock Mark 1 that we give away for no money? So then I say, welcome everyone to the Pixel Jam Christmas 2024. Basically, the Pixel Jam works like this. We download the simulator for Mac or Windows, have a look at tutorials, start your imagination, implement and test your ideas, then submit your creations until January 8th of 2025 and we will review the stuff until end of January 2025. Then a jury, made up of friends and family mostly, put the coolest stuff, just by personal preference, on a list and the first three is announced as winners and they will get a Pixel Clock Mark 1 for free from us. So, you know, what's the flavor of the Pixel Jam? We are on the Christmas holidays, on the, on the New Year's holidays. We just want to have some fun together. It, it should just feel good. I think this is the thing that is uh, important for me personally. Don't let your concerns block yourself. Just do the stuff. It's a low barrier. It's a low barrier entry to just do some potentially fun and enjoyment thing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So the Pixel apps are currently programmed in a language called f -sharp. It merges the best of many languages like Python, JavaScript or C-sharp and, and it mixes some unique features that simplifies things even more. So how does the Pixel apps look like? How can you program Pixel apps? There are so many different forms. So for example, you can access the canvas in raw form to directly manipulate the pixels. You can just do some cool algorithmic stuff like waves, lava effects, rainbows and whatever, just pixel per pixel. But there's also more. So there's a high level API to draw shapes like circles, ovals, rectangles and whatever kind of geometry. And you can also draw text uh, with different fonts or you even use your own fonts. You can also load image, you can crop them, you can resize them and you can make sprites out of them and just animate them like uh, yeah, or basically use or like animated GIFs, you know, or just load your animated GIFs. All this is possible. And of course, so since we want to get the stuff moving, all the things is running in a loop and we can access values from past cycles. So time is an, imp an important factor here and we can manipulate these values and store values for the future evaluation cycles. You can make components out of it and compose these components and it just feels supernatural. Yeah, and of course, based on that, there's an animation and ease in and ease out and cubic ease and whatever kind of stuff. And, you know, there is some, some physics stuff and some logical stuff like triggers and all the kind. You, you need to kick off the stuff and uh, get the stuff running, yeah? And the cool thing is you can just mix these concepts everywhere, all over the place, back and forth. So that, for example, you say, I just draw some shapes, I animate these shapes, then, you know, I just want to get... Uh, the rendered image, uh, then I manipulate the pixel of this rendered image, I store it for the next cycle and uh, do some crazy shader effects and then I go on and on and on. Where can I find resources? We have uh, put together a repository where you can see all the stuff together. We have a lot of sections. There's a, a Q&A section. There are terms and conditions. And I tell you, please read the stuff carefully. Yeah, because this is important uh, if you want to submit your contribution yeah, and your, all your ideas. You can do some algorithmic drawing or you can make an AI play some games like a side scrollers or asteroids or, or snake or whatever kind of stuff. Uh, you, you know, you can reprogram some apps, let me say like weather apps or news apps, news tickers or just how crazy uh, crappy your stocks uh, are currently and how much money you lost. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. You can even maybe tell it's just just 24 by 24 pixels, not so much, but, but I know that there is room for stories, some small stories, some nice stories, warm stories, questionable stories, funny stories, uh, sad stories. Uh, what else you can do? So uh, <laughs> I mean, 
you can do some particle physics. I mean, this is just predestinated for particle physics. And I mean, you can, uh, do you know that girl, this physics girl, you can prove her wrong and tell her particle physics is, is not dead and this is still a state of the art and you can have fun just programming some particle physics. Can I buy a pixel clock if I don't win one? I say, let me say, let me say yes. Let me say yes. Basically, bro, really. I mean, we are doing, oh, we are doing anything. I mean, uh, just look at this. Do you see this? How does it look? Can I hold in the camera? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is real, you know? Yeah, so wonderful buttons and so on. This is just, you know, the, the frame with glass. Uh, uh, okay, let me just introduce the pixel clock. It's, it's just so nice. I mean, you know, my friend Sefa, he's just a day and night, basically. He's just building stuff and trying to get his project for SAP uh, up and running. <laughs> I mean, but, but basically, you know, we're just putting so much effort. This is, ah, uh, whoa, whoa. This is just, just so nice. You know, the buttons, ah, oh, they're so wonderful. They're expensive, they're really expensive, believe me. But, ah, uh, you know, also, we're just printing this stuff, we're constructing, printing this stuff. Ah, by the way, also, shout out to Marvin B. He's our electrical engineer. I mean, he's constructing the stuff that's basically inside, but I, I can't show you because, you know, this is just uh, rugged, you know? I just can't, uh, no, no, I can't do it. It's uh, constructed so well, I just can't, you know, rip it apart, but, Marvin is uh, taking care of the electrical stuff, brother. And um, yeah, uh, Sefa is basically taking care of everything else and I'm, you know, taking care of talking a lot and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So be before I, uh, I uh, let you get your hands dirty, just let me say uh, thank you to, to one guy, it's uh, Sergei Tion. Sergei Tion is a well-known member in the F-Sharp community. And uh, once again, tip, he put just effort, you know, uh, in the F Sharp Advent Calendar 2024. Sega, thank you for uh, letting me being a part of this Advent Calendar. Uh, this is very valuable for me. Thank you very much, uh, Sega, for for just the effort and all this. The, the continuity, continuity is something that is uh, so worthful. I think. Finally, now get your hands on. Program yourself and all of us some cool, some nice, and some colorful pixel animations. I'm super curious of what, what you come up with, what your ideas are, and how you implement it. I wish you all a, a wonderful December. I wish you a, a Merry Christmas, a calm time, just a cool, a cool mood, some nice holidays, good New Year holidays. I wish uh, peace to everyone.